Hey everyone, it's day 322, and uh, today is kind of stormy out, and so I thought, what better time to tell a story? So it's story time with Jesse. Um, I'll I'll wait to show you that here in just a second. Okay, no, I'll show it to you in just literally just a second. Uh, we're under tornado watch, and I'll take this shit seriously because. I'll tell you why, but I just want to let you see, um, I don't think that the storm is going to get here, but I know that my mother is going to be affected by this because she's at work. Okay, I'm right here, and if you look at this right here, that's where my mom is. She's at work, and so this is moving through there, and hush, hey, I'm vlogging. So, and this is all tornado warned. These are under tornado warnings because there's rotation and stuff. So, hey, settle down. You too. Settle. Settle. They ain't gonna settle. They're already right back at it. I need y'all to be quiet because I'm vlogging, you two. Really. I need to tell a story. And I don't want to start over. Sit down. Look at her. This is what she does to me. She holds on with her little paws. Down. Yeah. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. Okay. So the story about tornadoes. I have actually survived multiple tornadoes. Um, I've actually been pretty kind of lucky, I suppose. Let's see. The first tornado I can remember surviving was, I was probably four, and me and my mom and my dad and my brother were driving along in my dad's brand new pickup truck, and we were on our way to my mom's parents' house, my grandparents, and we saw a storm coming, and let's see, let's see. This is the county I'm in, and this is where the tornado warning is, and this stuff is moving this way. So, yeah. I'm way down here in this funky looking one. So, anyways. So, we're driving along, and I look out. Uh, it was either my brother or me. And we look out the back window, and we see the tornado. And so, my parents turn around, and they see it. And so, my dad floors it, and here we go. We're headed to... Uh, they're showing Hot Springs video on uh, the Weather Channel on Hot Springs Rain. Um, hey, so he floors it. We get to the house. We get down in the storm cellar. We get everybody into the storm cellar. And as soon as we shut the storm cellar door, the tornado blows through. And it blows a tree down on top of the damn storm cellar that we're in. So, until somebody came and found us, we were stuck down there. I don't know, it was probably a couple hours. We didn't even know if, like, their house was there anymore. We didn't do nothing. Luckily, it spared the house. Okay, I'm kind of watching because I was trying to watch it. But anyways, so that was the first one we survived. The second tornado I survived that I remember surviving. There's been many that I've been, like, kind of close to. But there's been a few, several actually, that have been really close. Um, the second one was, I was probably six, and it was in Kirby, Kirby, Arkansas. Hey, really? And uh, there was no warning. There's not even street lights in the town that I, that I grew up in. Excuse me, I'm having some sign of stuff. Um, there's not even street lights. So there was no warning. We didn't have anything. Um, my father was out standing on the porch and I go out there and look. We got my mom and my cousins and all the kids underneath a uh, mattress in the hallway. And I go and I see my father standing on the porch and I go out there and stand with him. And we see the tornado. So we're watching this damn tornado as it comes, 
and I'm talking, it was an F4. <clears throat> so we're watching it as it comes, and then it picks up my Uncle Roy's house, who would be my great uncle. He, it picked, actually great, great uncle, picked up his house, spun it around, dropped it right in the middle of the highway, and then it headed up the hill toward our house. And so dad grabs me, we get it under the mattress as the tornado comes straight forward toward, toward us. And um, it was like, it was a miracle because there was an embankment in front of our house. And I swear that tornado hit that bank embankment and jumped over our house, landed in the freaking backyard and kept going. And then went on to destroy like several more houses and a bunch of chicken houses and some hog houses and everything. So why it jumped over our house, I don't know. But it literally jumped over the house and landed in the backyard. So my aunt, uh, great, great aunt, great, great uncle, uh, they were in their bathtub. Only thing left was a freaking bathtub and they were in it. That was the only thing left on that concrete slab was their bathtub. So that was the second one that I survived. And then in 1996, I was in Arkadelphia, Arkansas when the huge F5 came through there and destroyed so much of the town. And I was literally blocks away from destruction. We were shopping and they told us to get under, to get in the back and under all these clothes and stuff, clothes racks and stuff, cause that's all they had in there. And so we were all packed in there and we, the lights go out, you know, the, here comes the wind and it actually damaged the building. But even though it was blocks away because it was an F5, it was huge guys, huge. It tore up houses, businesses, and everything. It took us hours to actually get out of the city. Um, so that was the third one. That was the th that was actually the three major ones that I survived. Um, I know it sounds just wow or odd that I've survived so many, but it's weird. I mean, you live in Arkansas, and this is a common thing. There's tornadoes all the time. Um, and I know that these two, and she's, look, I'm going to film it just so you can see. Look at that. Why? Why? No. You ain't got nothing to do it with. That's why you're all tired all the damn time. She humps the shit out of Bobo and Scotty. I'm talking, if she had a penis, they'd all be pregnant. <laughs> I don't get it. So now I've busted her out. But, um, anyways, I know the vlog's gone on pretty long. Appreciate you guys talking to me. It's only eight minutes so far. Uh, fine. Don't follow me. So I appreciate you guys talking to me. Talking to me. And, uh, Keeping me young. You guys keep me young. I could go out here in my underwear and it would feel great. Because it's rain, kind of rainy, stormy. You could tell there's a storm coming. Oops, starting lightning. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you all my story about weather. I've had some fucked up weather in my life, man. I remember the 2000 snowstorm, ice storm. We didn't have electricity for 18 days. Yeah, 18 freaking days, guys. That was hell. There was ice and snow. There was at least three and a half feet of ice and snow here on the ground in Arkansas. Tore all the trees down, tore all the electric lines down. It is just horrible. But anyways, um, he don't. Josh don't think that it's a serious deal to heed warnings or watches or what whatnot. But I do because I've been there. If say that the F4 came through today, came through this town, there's sirens here, but I've never heard them go off by when I'm living here. When I lived up on the hill with my grandparents, you couldn't even hear the sirens. So if you guys hear the sirens, seriously, you need to like get in a closet or something. You ain't got to go out and get in your storm cellar if you don't want to. 
just get in a closet or go get, go sit in your bathroom until the sirens go off because seriously it could save your life because had we had sirens it would have saved our lives um, even though we did survive there was people that didn't so um, yeah that was that's the deal that's the whole deal that's all about the tornadoes and maybe we'll, it may it may get here you never know you know so that's why I'm gonna keep an eye out anyways you guys stay safe I appreciate you guys talking to me love you peace see ya tomorrow and now I can't find the off button